You know what would be really cool? Is if I knew all the names of these flowers I'm gonna share with you today, but I don't. I just choose what I love based on color and I wanna tell a great story. Mother Nature always has a way of taking whatever we do in interiors to the next level. Every room reaches like this finished level when you add flowers. I call it my weekend happy. I grab flowers on a weekend, put them out and smile for the rest of the week. Let's work on them together. I'm Michelle Smith Boyd. I'm an interior designer, a product designer, and a TV host. And I'm obsessed with all things interior design. The one question I hear the most is what is luxury exactly? Let's figure it out together. I'm gonna show you how to luxury. You guys know all the tricks. You have to cut the stem at an angle, right? It's easy to go inside. We don't have any trouble right now because these are the first two. My goal is to build a spear. So I'm cutting them short enough to lean on the rim of the fishbowl and repeat. And once you repeat it, repeat it again because it's gonna take a while, <laughs> but it'll be worth it in the end, I promise. I have this thing, I don't know why, for uh, monochromatic flowers. I always choose uh, arrangements in the same colors and um, I just think it's a cool look to repeat the same element over and over again. It looks almost like a fashion reference. I love monochromatic uh, runway shows and when I see those things in fashion collections it always inspires me for interiors. One of the reasons that I consider having fresh flowers in my home luxury is people think about flowers as a special occasion thing. They always make me smile. It always feels good to have something alive in the room. Right? I'm on the back side. I haven't, I don't know what's happening up there yet because every time I shift one thing, something else moves. But the more tightly packed I make it, the better chance I have of everything staying. Okay, do I have any holes? I'm gonna turn. Oh geez, look. I got a hole. I got a dent in my afro. The more you cross the stems, they also stay in place a little bit better. But once we get to the end like this, they're really hard. It's really hard to penetrate all the stems. We can do like a little bending with these stems, but we want to be careful not to break the bud. See that effect? That's what I want all the way around. All done. The next arrangement we're gonna to build together. How am I gonna show you how to build flowers but we didn't have any flowers to begin with? We are at Cut Flower Wholesale. It is my number one spot, guys. I love this place. Every time I come, I'm inspired. I think I'm going for yellow and I come out with red, purple, orange. Every time it's something different. So here's your tip for the day. You're welcome. One being fun, two being cool, but three telling a story. Same rule applies to flowers. I have no control over which direction these flowers are going. So um, my job, my goal right now is just to really kind of create some balance. I'm not necessarily looking for a circle. I love asymmetry. Um, it's a little bit tougher when it comes to florals, but we're gonna make it do what it do. One of the tricks in the florist is if you Pick up the flowers and turn them upside down and see how old, how dark the stems are at the bottom. That'll let you know if they were cut a long time ago or freshly cut. And that's a tip on uh, how long they'll last at your home. Ooh, see what that, see what, see what happened? You look like a rock star, you don't even know what you're doing. <laughs> Anybody can do this. If I can do it, I know you can. We'll be approaching the last layer and just like the other two, there's not a whole lot of rhyme or reason in the beginning, but as we get deeper into building the arrangement, I'm trying to create balance. I'm spinning it around to see where there's a hole and being sure that it's attractive or at least addressed from every angle, right? I don't want to have like this weird shape um, that doesn't make sense. I like for things, especially if you're creating luxury, it should feel intentional. 
um, that you put some actual thought into it. Okay, tell me that's not cool. That's amazing. This has got a little bit crunchy, a little bit of depth, a little bit more character. It's almost a little masculine, right? And it's flowers, it's weird. I love my wholesale forest in our city, but sometimes when I'm in the rush and I'm at Trader Joe's, I just pick up flowers there, honestly. They have some of the best varieties and they're so, so well priced. You cannot go wrong. I'm picking up dinner and a little bit of ambiance at the same time, it always works. Okay guys, I think we're done. We have built the perfect spear from roses and also an amazing arrangement for your dining table full of texture and color. And I've even taken you to my favorite florist. Hope you learned something. I had a good time. Um, show me what you're gonna do. See you soon.